guys, today we are going to be trying out two new palettes from Musei Beauty. I love the brand, so I am super excited. If you guys are new to my channel or something like that, you'll probably not know that one of their palettes, the Impressionism palette, ended up in my If I Could Only Keep 10 Palettes video that I did not that long ago. This palette is fantastic. I love this so, so, so much. And this was the first palette that they came out with. It was the first time I tried the brand and I just kind of fell in love. And ever since I've been so excited every time they come out with a new palette. So today we're going to be trying out the two newest ones. And these are two nine pan palettes. Now, one of these are limited edition and I think it is Mm, I think it is this one. This one is the Triumph of Venus. This one is limited edition. I don't know how long it's going to be available. Both of these palettes are $28 and they are available now. I do have a code with Musei Beauty. It is an, a 10, I think, uh, for 10% off. It is affiliated, just so you know. Uh, but let me show you the palette. So this is the Triumph of Venus. I think this one was called. Yeah, this is so beautiful. This color story is so, so fun. Like this is what I'm expecting from Musei Beauty. I feel like it's unexpected but it's very well thought through and there's a lot that you can do with this and when I swatched this out like even just the first four shades together looked so so good and I feel so inspired looking at this palette and this to me is just so so fun like this is very much me the other palette is a little bit more muted a little bit more wearable a little bit more kind of everyday friendly if you want to call it that this is the honor palette I know I'm saying Wow, I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry, but here's what the palette looks like. And as you can see, it's a little bit more, a little bit more toned down and a little bit more romantic, but I still think that with that pop of teal, like you could still do something really, really fun with this. So I'm really excited to be playing with both of these palettes. I think today I'm going to just do a look combining the two because I feel like, you know, they're nine pen palettes, they're not that big, so I can do like three or four shades from each palette, jam those on my eyes, and we'll see how they perform. And I have swatched them out, and you've already seen the swatches, and from the swatches, they definitely felt like the exact same good Muse Day Beauty formula that I'm used to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by priming my eyes, and I'm of course using my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base because I just love it, okay? So I'm just gonna put some of this on, and I'm going to blend it out. I think my plan here is going to be that we're gonna start with this palette and I'm gonna use the shade up in the corner here as my sort of inner crease shade. I'm gonna do this into a two-tone crease. So I'm gonna do this shade in the front portion and then I'm gonna use one of the blues in the other palette in the outer portion and probably deepen it up with the black in the other palette as well. So this is the shade called Bluff and I'm gonna basically just tuck this in the front portion of my crease. And I love the way that, this is such a weird comment, but I love the way that Musée's uh, mattes feel. Like when you put your finger into them, they are so soft and so smooth and they almost feel sort of silky. Like it's just so satisfying to swatch them, but they don't swatch the best, but like just feeling them, <laughs> just like putting your finger into the pan. I don't know. I just really like <laughs> touching Muse shadows. I know that's very strange, but <laughs> they just feel really, really nice and they always just perform so well on the eyes and I love that about them. So it really just goes to show that you cannot judge a match from a swatch because the only thing that really matters is how they perform on the eyes and like I said Musée's mattes is one of my absolute favorite formulas because they just they never let me down they are so easy to work with they're very beginner friendly and I just always feel like every time I do a look with their palettes like it always just end up coming out so smooth and so nicely blended and I never have you know a hard time working with them and that is something that is very important to me not only in palettes, but singles as well, but I just need good, reliable mattes. Like to me, mattes need to perform good for me to actually like a palette because it is like such a big part of the experience using the mattes because that is what determines, you know, a lot of how your look is going to turn up. Shimmers are always going to perform well because shimmer is like, shimmers are easy to work with, you know what I mean? So I feel like with good, reliable mattes, the shimmers don't matter as much. Not saying that Musi doesn't have a good shimmer formula, but it's not my favorite just because it is, it's pretty basic, but I feel like there is something about their formula that just, it just makes sense. I don't know, like they're matched together with their shimmers, the way they perform and the way that they're sort of meant to be used. I, I don't know what it is that I'm trying to say, but I just feel like it makes sense. <laughs> Like, even though I wish that there were like multi-chromes and duochromes and crazy stuff, I know it's all about the, like the art inspired uh, makeup and the effortless, I don't know, way of just using it. Like it just, it just makes sense in my head. And I do really appreciate that they, they kind of stick to what they've 
done so far and I think that it just kind of works for them. Like this looks so good. Like look how cute that is. I'm gonna take a little bit of this just underneath my eye in the same spot as well so we can have be the same on the top and the bottom. Next up, we're gonna take the other palette which was called the Triumph of Venus palette and I'm gonna go into the shade here which is called Temptestuous? <laughs> Wait, Temptestuous. Temptestuous? I have no clue what that means, but that is a very fun word. <laughs> I'm gonna use that in the outer corner of my eye as well as the outer part of my crease. And I think this is going to end up being a really cool color combination. Like I feel like the tones of these two together is going to work very, very well. This is just like a denim color. I really like this color. I'm not sure I've seen this color in a palette before. I mean, that's probably a lie and I'm sure I have, but I can't think of a palette that has this exact shade of blue in it. And it's very tough to come up with like unique tones of a color because I feel like it's all kind of been done before, but I don't feel like I have a lot of anything that's similar to this. I'm gonna take this underneath my eye as well, just made it up with the shade that I have in the front portion. This is performing very, very well, but I wouldn't expect anything less. So let's see, do I wanna deepen this up a little bit? I'm thinking I wanna use just a little bit of black. I don't want this to get out of hand, but I just wanna try the black. Um, I have quite high expectations. When I swatched it, it was very, it was very black without being like, super intense and like rich in pigment. Like I feel like it'll be easy to work with. So we're gonna go into the black here, which is called Depths, and I'm gonna use that to just deepen up the outer corner a little bit. Like I said, I don't want this to get really out of hand. I'm not gonna take it underneath my eye. I'm just gonna put it right in the outer corner and I'm going in quite light, light handed. Usually I don't tap off my brush with blacks and I tend to go in very heavily, but I just wanna have like a little bit of something here not too much, just enough to get that extra little depth that I'm looking for. So you can see it's not super black, it's definitely more on like the dark gray side. And even when I do go in a little bit heavier, it's not super, super intense and it's very easy to work with. So I think that this is a very user-friendly black that a lot of people are gonna get along with because blacks can sometimes be a little bit scary. So I'm just going to do that on this eye as well here. And then we're going to try out some of the shimmers and see what it is that I want to do on my lid here. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to go with, but I think I want to try to use probably one from each palette at least. And then maybe, you know, do another one underneath my eye or something like that. Maybe one in the inner corner, try to use maybe four shades if I'm able to. So I know I said I was only gonna use a little bit of black, but you guys know, once I start with the black, it's very hard for me to be light-handed because I love a deep, rich outer corner, but you definitely could have left this where it was without adding the black if you wanted something a little bit softer, but I just wanted to try it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite black in my collection, just because I feel like it's hard to really build it up to be super black. Like you probably could if you went in with a lot more. Personally, I do like my blacks to be a little, a little bit more rich, but that is, I know, probably an unpopular opinion. And most people like blacks that are a little bit more user-friendly like this one. So I'm not gonna say it's a bad black at all because it definitely isn't. It's just that I wish that I was able to get it a little bit blacker. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that blue that I used and make sure that the blend between the black and the blue is looking nice. Okay, let's figure out what it is that I want to do for shimmers. I definitely want to use one of the blues and I'm thinking I probably want to use this one right here would look really good with these outer corner shades and then maybe the pink from this palette because that would just sort of make sense. And then we can do maybe the middle shade here as my inner corner highlight. And let's kind of have that as a plan. So I'm going to start with this one. This one is called Tide. I'm just going to spray this a little bit because I've actually packed my glitter primer because I am going to stay at some hotels for the next couple of nights for my other channel that I have. Uh, I can link that down below, but basically I go to hotels here in Vegas and I kind of stay there and I review them. And so I've already packed my makeup for the next two days. So I'm just gonna spray my brush with the shimmer because the shimmers from You Say Beauty are not the kind of formula that really benefits from having a glitter primer or from spraying them. They perform pretty much the same. Uh, 
no matter how you use them, even if you use them dry. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But this is a really pretty color. I really like that a lot. And then I'm going to just wipe off my brush a little bit. I'm going to move into the other palette here and we're going to take the shade that's called Stolen Kiss, which is this really, really cute pink shade. Like I said, I'm just going to use that on the same brush here. These pick up really, really nicely. And I'm just going to put that in the front portion of my lid and blend it into that blue. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. And this application is completely dry. I just wanted to try it and show you that like I said, it doesn't really make a difference with the shimmer formula if you spray it or not or you use some kind of a glitter primer because it's going to perform pretty much the same no matter how you use them. And that's what I mean about this brand, just having that sort of effortless feel to it, not only color story-wise, but also just their formulas are just so easy to work with. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to use the same palette. I'm going to take the shade here, which is called Confession. And I'm just going to take that on a very, very small pencil brush here. And we're going to put that in the inner corner. Let me try first without spraying it. And we'll see. I think that this is going to be totally fine without spraying it. It's maybe not the best inner corner shade to go with that pink. But I don't know. I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to test out one more shade here and there wasn't really any shades in the other palette that I felt like would go nice with this because the only light one in there was a light blue and I felt like a light blue would just kind of look weird next to that pink but maybe it would have been kind of fun anyway. So I think this is where I'm going to leave it with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off and I will come back and I will show you what the look is like and we can talk a little bit more about these palettes. Okay, so this is what I did to finish off and I think that it all really came together. I really like the the color combination between like the blues and the pinks. I think that they look very, very nice together and they're like unique tones of blues and pinks, I feel like, and it's not something that I feel like I've ever done before, even though I've, you know, I've obviously worked with pinks and blues in the past together, but maybe not these exact tones. And I really like it. I think that it turned out very, very nice. So let me tell you how I finished off. I used an eyeliner in my waterline from ColourPop. This is Crybaby. It's a lavender. And I just thought it would look good with my t-shirt. <laughs> really only reason. Uh, for my lips today, I'm wearing a lipstick by KVD. I almost said Kat Von D. This is in the shade Ludwig. I've had this for such a long time. This is probably two or three years old, but I love this formula. I think it's so good. I did put a gloss on top though, just because I wanted it to be a shiny. A, shi a, shi a shiny <laughs> a shiny lip and I'm using one of the glosses that came in the Raw Beauty Christie and Colourpop collab. This is in the shade Wildflower. I do not know if these are available anymore but I realized that I've only used this once <laughs> and it smells so good. I love the scent of this. It just makes me really really happy and I like this lip combo with this eye look. I feel like it's like on the same wavelength. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I do have to mention one thing that I've been using lately though, because I've tried out a new mascara. I've actually tried out quite a few new mascaras lately because I ran out of my Bad Gal Bang and then one that I had from Ofra that I really like dried out. So I've kind of been like shopping the stash drawer that I have of mascaras that I've been meaning to try that I just haven't tried yet. And one of these is from Maybelline and it's the Sky High Sensational. Is this what it's called? Lash Sensational Mascara. And I'd heard so many good things about this. People have hyped this up and compared it to Bad Girl Bang. And I have to admit, it's it's pretty good. It's, it's not quite my Bad Girl Bang. My only complaint with this is that Yes, the wand is exactly the same pretty much, but it's a little bit too just kind of flimsy. Like it bends very easily. So like when I put it on my lashes, like the the wand itself kind of like bends and I feel like I don't get the, the pressure that I want to really like coat my lashes because the, the brush is just a little flimsy, if that makes sense. But I think that the formula on this mascara is really, really nice if you've been looking for an alternative to uh, Bad Gal Bang if you like that one but you don't like spending the money. I would definitely say try this one because I've had a really good experience with it so far. I do have to preface this by saying that I never have problems with mascaras smudging or flaking. Like I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Like my mascara just stays on until I take it off. I don't have problems with mascara. Sometimes they can be a little bit wet to begin with and they smudge a little bit. If that is what smudging means, then I guess maybe. But this one isn't super, super wet. Bad Girl Bang is definitely a lot wetter and I find that that one is a little bit more tricky to use like in the first two weeks or so of buying it, but I didn't have that problem with this one. So if you've been wanting to maybe check this one out, 
definitely try it because it's really, really nice. For my blush today, I'm using one from, no one is going to be surprised, from Odensei, and this is in the shade Africa Girl. I just think that, I don't know, it just went very nicely with the look. I think that the tone just kind of tied it all together. And then for my highlighter, I'm using the one from Pixi. This is in the shade Subtle Sunrise, and I'm using this one right here. And I just felt like, again, it just kind of went with the vibe. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about the palettes, though. I think that these are really, really, really cute. I do wish that they would stop making, like limited edition palettes, but I, I, I get it. They can't keep, you know, restocking every single palette all the time and they keep coming out with palettes and they can't have like 20 palettes in their range. So I understand that some need to be limited edition, but I wish it was the other one. <laughs> Like this is definitely my favorite and this is the one that is limited edition, but I, I I mean I get it This color story is probably not for as many people as the other ones So even though this is what this one is my favorite It makes sense that this is the one that's going to get discontinued But if you've been looking for a color story like this because this is very unique This is not something that I feel like I've ever seen and this is kind of a I don't know. I feel very wintry inspired when I look at this. I don't know if it's the tones of blues, but then you have like these warm tones in there that just makes it very, very interesting. I don't know. I think this is a really, really cool color story. I enjoy this palette a lot. And I really like the other one as well. Uh, like I said, when I was using them, no issues at all uh, with the formula. I think they perform very, very, very well. And I really like them. My only, this is like a, this is like a me thing, but I wish that there were more variation in the mattes in this. I feel like these three mattes, I know that the blue is in there as well, but the blue doesn't really go, it's a little hard to like uh, use this blue along with these other three mattes because if you over blend, like it's going to end up getting a little bit muddy. So maybe another color to go with this teal would be nice, like matte wise. I don't know. And I also just feel like these two colors are maybe a little bit too similar to both be in a nine pan palette, but I also get it like, I don't know, you can use one as a transition shade to the other, like that does make sense. But I don't know, like the green feels a little bit out of place as well. Like maybe this one could have been replaced with a matte green that's like similar to this color or maybe even a little bit more muted. Like this color is just like, why? <laughs> but that again, I'm like, I don't need a bone colored matte ever in any palette. Like just, just stop wasting space. <laughs> <laughs> like give me something that I don't already have, you know? So that shade right there I wish was replaced by maybe something that would go a little bit better with this teal just to make it a little bit easier to work with. But I think it's really, really cute. And I think that it's, you know, it's true to the color story. And I like the fact that they they really match the outsides to the insides a lot of the time. And like that everything just makes sense. And I like when things make sense. So <laughs> those are basically my thoughts. Um, check them out if you're interested. I think these are really, really nice. If you want to see... Uh, some more content with Music Beauty. I don't know if I'm gonna do a separate video or like another video with these two, but I'm thinking now that I have quite a few palettes from them, maybe doing a multi-palette bingo could be kind of fun because I have these three. I have the Impressionism palette. I think I have, have they come out with two or three more? I forget, but they've definitely come out enough that I can do a multi-palette bingo with them. So maybe that's what I'll do. Let me know if you wanna see that because I love doing those. Those are always so much fun. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you wanna see some more Muse Beauty content, I will make a playlist and put it right there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.